right, guys, welcome. Uh, today we're gonna be showing you how to propagate aloes. Uh, there's more than just aloe vera out there. There's a bunch of uh, different kinds. You know, right now we got purple haze, we got uh, candy cane, and uh, one of my favorites, castellone. Now these guys are native to Africa. Here in the States, sometimes even uh, hummingbirds will be able to pollinate these guys for you. So I'm gonna be showing you a couple of ways to propagate these guys. Um, one, by cuttings. Uh, this is a good time to do cuttings, uh, but you don't need to water them right away. You can let them dry out for a while. Uh, and then also we're gonna be pollinating these flowers. Um, we're gonna be making crosses using fishing string. Uh, this, what I have here is 15 pound test. And because this is newer, it's a little bit straighter. You want that straight line. If you're trying to recycle something off one of your old fishing reels, it's real curly, you haven't used it in a while. It's a lot harder to do that. Um, but see that little sticker right there? That's actually good because I was gonna show you I'll usually use tape, um, but this sticker's already here, and so now I won't lose that. I'll know where this is uh, next time I want to pollinate or make some hybrids. Um, so let's get started. All right, guys. So right here, we've got the bottom uh, flowers blooming first. And as you go up, you can see the new buds that are starting to form, um, but it's always around the bottom that they open first. And what I'm going to do to kind of get a little bit more pollen on here Instead of just using the straight thing, I'm just gonna barely score it. Just kinda chop it just a little bit, but not to where it comes off and make some little divots in there. And so now we've got um, a little bit more, some more grooves in here to collect the pollen. So I'm just gonna stick it right in there and you can see the pollen sticking out here. Just rub it on there, there's a bunch of pollen falling off. And you can look at it and you can see the yellow pollen that's that has uh, been attached to the string. Now I'm gonna go over here to one of these guys. We're gonna make a hybrid between this um, purple haze and this candy cane. So you can see the stamen sticking out right in the middle. You wanna go all the way in and just spin around and that'll get the pollen on there. And of course you can do it a few times with a few different flowers. You just get your pollen. You can see the pollen on there and then you stick it in and then just kind of swirl it around and that'll get on there. Uh, these guys here are some seed pods from the last time I pollinated about two weeks ago. Uh, you can see that they're not self-fertile, so the ones that I didn't pollinate, uh, the flowers have dried up. Uh, but we've got some seed pods here and I like to leave the little cap on there to kind of hold it together. But when these are ready, they'll, they'll turn brown and um, they'll start to crack open. So you want to catch them right before they spill um, seeds out. You Sometimes we'll put these little bags and I'll show you the bags that we'll put over them to, to help catch uh, the seeds. All right, so with aloes, one way to propagate them other than pulling pups is to just chop the top off. The bottom will put out more pups and the top will eventually root. So these are some hybrid seedlings that we created here in East Austin. Seedlings pollinated two years ago. So that's why we like to do cuttings. You have a big plant um, within a few months, but with you know, hybridization, you can come up with some pretty cool stuff. And they start slow, but once they start to develop into an aloe, it's worth it. All right, so our seed pod has dried up and it started to open. Uh, the best thing is a lot of the seeds are still stacked inside the seed pod, uh, but I can see that the bag did help because a few have fallen out. So now all I'm gonna do is just cut this off Those are our seeds. Make sure to like and subscribe Botany Basics and follow East Austin Succulents and Fireproof Plants on Instagram.